ISRO has announced the launch date and time for the next moon mission, Chandrayaan-3. The spacecraft will launch on July 14 at 2.35 PM from the second launch pad at the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Srihari Kota. The mission consists of the Vikram lander and Pragyan rover, similar to the design of the previous Chandrayaan-2 mission but without an orbiter. The landing is expected to occur on August 23rd of this year. This is a really exciting mission for ISRO and India. Back in 2019, the orbiter and lander of Chandrayaan-2 lost communication and crashed mere seconds before touching down on the lunar surface. This time, for Chandrayaan-3, ISRO hopes to be able to show that India's spacecraft engineering has improved and they can indeed perform a soft landing on the moon's surface. This would mean that they are also ready to prepare for a lander Mars mission. Additionally, there is an upcoming Indo-Japanese mission to the lunar south pole that will happen sooner, so ISRO is also getting ready for that. Chandrayaan-3 will be launched on the launch vehicle Mark 3 or LVM-3, which also launched Chandrayaan-2. This mission is a tech demonstrator aimed at testing landing and rover capabilities and therefore doesn't carry sophisticated scientific payloads. The Vikram lander and Pragyan rover have the same names as Chandrayaan-2's lander and rover and a similar design, although the lander has been improved upon. The prime objective of this mission is to demonstrate the engineering and capability behind landing a spacecraft on the moon's surface, as well as moving and roving on the moon. The mission has simple payloads for making scientific observations of the soil and carrying out small experiments on its composition and water. The Vikram lander has been upgraded with stronger legs and more instrumentation redundancy to reduce the chances of loss of signal. The Vikram lander weighs approximately 1470 kilos and has dimensions of about 8.5 feet by 6 feet by 3 feet. It is equipped with a propulsion module that will maneuver the stack, the lander and rover combined into a circular 100 km orbit around the moon. The Pragyan rover, which is the lander's payload, will exit the lander upon touchdown when the lander extends a ramp. The 26 kilo vehicle has 6 wheels and dimensions of 3 feet by 2 and a half feet by almost 3 feet. It is equipped with solar panels for power and carries two cameras for navigation. It will be capable of moving at the speed of 1 cm per second on the lunar surface. There is an umbilical connector or cord that physically connects the lander and the rover. To overcome the challenge of carrying fuel all the way to the moon, the LVN-3 will perform orbit-raising maneuvers around the Earth before breaking away from the rocket's nose cone into a trajectory to the moon. Approaching the moon, the spacecraft will reorient itself and slow down using the propulsion module. Once in its designated lunar orbit, the stack will remain there for a brief period of time for testing before the first soft landing attempt on August 23rd. The lander will use its own thrusters to lower itself down and its legs to come to a standing position. The rover will then be deployed and rolled out. The mission carries basic payloads for engineering demonstration purposes. The propulsion module carries the shape payload, which will obtain spectral and polarimetric data of Earth from lunar orbit. The Vikram lander carries payloads such as Ramba, which will study the ionosphere and atmosphere above the moon, and Chaste, which will measure thermal conductivity and temperature. There is also an experiment to measure moon quakes and another to calculate surface plasma density. There is a fourth payload from NASA, a laser array used for laser ranging studies to measure the distance between Earth and the moon. The Pragyan rover carries APXS and LIBS instruments to study the composition of the lunar regolith at the landing site. One disadvantage of operating missions on the moon is the lunar day-night cycle. The lander and rover need solar power to function, and since one lunar day lasts 15 Earth days, the expected lifetime of the mission is only 14 days. After that, the lunar night begins, and without solar power, the temperature drops significantly. If the landing cannot be attempted on August 23rd, ISRO will wait for about 15 days and try again. The lander and rover will use their thrusters to come to a stop closer to the south pole in the lunar southern hemisphere. If the soft landing is successful, India will become the fourth country, after the former Soviet Union, the US, and China, to perform a soft landing on the moon. 